Check this out. And this. Also here. And here. But don't let yourself be fooled. These A6 Jolt 4 are not what you think, even though you see them like that. So I published about three months ago a video about these shoes with my initial review. I had just bought them and I received some comments from you guys saying that you would like to hear more about my experience with them. So I've been wanting to do a review of these shoes 400 kilometers after that video just to let you guys know my experience, my full on experience with these shoes, which have been nothing but great. Even though you see this, these shoes are particularly made to run in spans of 10 kilometers maximum. I haven't used them that way, to be honest. I've used them to run sometimes 19, 25, even 30 kilometers, actually, uh, last week I did 30 kilometers with them and that's when this hole became this big after the 30 kilometer run and that's when I decided to get new shoes I will tell you more about that later but for now I am extremely satisfied with the A6 Jolt 4 they are extremely powerful I had come from previous shoes previous running shoes that were uh, Brooks and they didn't really fit well with me so I decided to give a shot to these new ones and ever since the beginning I never felt any issue at all in my feet and that's like the main reason why I love this because I often get like troubles with my feet I have like I have to break them in for like two weeks sometimes they don't even ever get broken in fully so the fact that I never had to pass through that with this gave me a really good impression on the other hand they felt so powerful I put them on and I felt flying at least the first three four runs um, just because they are quite high and, and they have a really good aerody aerodynamics now Besides all this and the fact that also the upper mesh is very breathable and, and light, it's extremely light and uh, again aerodynamic, you, you feel like you are flying with this. Mm -hmm. and not only they impulse you with this uh, lower sole, but they also are very light. You feel like running barefoot, but you are very well protected with this. Besides these two uh, very important points is that it's a very great looking shoe. I mean, I would wear them if if I was not a runner, I would still get them just to wear them around the shopping mall or going around supermarket or in a day to day basis, going a walk around the park. They're just very comfortable, very good looking. They fit well with every outfit possible, really, unless that you go with a suit and like a very elegant dinner, obviously. But other than that, which that elegant dinner doesn't happen so much or so often in many of our lives, if we are fully honest, at least not in mine. So they are fantastic. They are great looking shoes. They also have multiple colors. I, I have to say three months have passed and look at this. Three months have passed. Me running almost every day, like at least more than 500 kilometers running with these shoes that's when i decided okay it's time for me to get new shoes and guess what here's the surprise i wanted to tell you guys i got the same shoes but this time green the a6 jolt 4 and today i went running with them and that's when I fully decided I have to make a video to tell you guys what my experience been because it was so great. I felt again the same sensations of like, wow, these shoes are powerful. As soon as I put them on, I started running with them. This is how they look new. Look how beautiful. I got them green this time just because I wanted to change a little bit the style. 
I love these ones, the green ones. Also, they were supposed to be a bit more bright over here with the green, but I already ran with them. So actually running, I'm actually running a marathon in about two uh, months. I'm running two marathons, one of Rome in one month and a half, and then I'm running as well the marathon of Copenhagen. And I want to run them both with this. So I hope that this will stand up until there. If there is something bad I would say about these shoes is that they do not stand so much volume. I haven't had any other experience with any other shoes to cross um, compare them though, in terms of like high volume running. But like if you run almost every day like myself, long runs as well of like 20, 30 kilometers. And you do that for months after months in a like difficult terrain, like not so difficult, but not asphalt, but rather some earth and some trails and so on, then it's likely that you're gonna finish them like I finished them in about three months. But that's also normal. That's part of the, of the deal. And they are so affordable, to be honest, for their quality, that it's definitely worth it. And if, to be honest, if I if I finish them the way I finish the blue ones, again, the Jolt 4, I swear I'll get them a new, I'll get new ones, but this time I'll get them orange or whatever. And I will continue switch to, to switch them just because I'm in love with these shoes. What can I say? I, I'm, I also have a little bit of an obsessive personality that if I like something, I don't change that. Before the Brooks ones, I had the Primark ones and they were very cheap and really bad for my feet. They, I, I, I had blisters all over my feet all the time. This, I haven't got a blister. I thought that I used to get a lot of blisters because I it was the way I ran. But that's not the case, to be honest. The case was that the shoes were not good back in the day with their primer ones. This time, I have good shoes and I have no blisters. So the lesson there is that you need to get good shoes in order to not get blisters. Also, the fact that these don't give me blisters not necessarily mean that they won't give blisters to you. So bear that in mind. I'm sharing just my, what my experience been with these ASIC shoes, the Joel 4. And yeah, all, all in all, I'm obsessive. My obsessive personality will make me wanna buy them all different colors. Every time I finish ones, I'll get the new ones and the new ones and the new ones. And so far I'm really liking this green one, probably because it's the new one and I haven't really used them so much, wear them so much. Whereas these ones I've worn them so much that I find the blue not as beautiful, although it's still beautiful, like compared to the black one, for example. But those are style things. I'm talking here, apart from how beautiful they look, the breathable upper mesh, the fact that they feel powerful when you wear them because they are light and because they have this down sole part that impulses you when you run. And the fact that they don't hurt at all when I wear them. I don't have to break them in. And they don't cause me blisters whatsoever. Make this the best running shoes I've ever had by far. So much so that I had to get the new ones because I was in love with them. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was useful. I would have liked to see a video like this before I decided to get them, I kind of got them much much of a blind buy because I didn't really have any any reference or anything to grab myself into to decide which ones were good for me. But I hope this this kind of uh, help you make a good decision. So feel free to comment what your experience has been with this Jolt 4 and have a good run.